Hi everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. That part of my video is so easy because I know exactly what I'm supposed to say. I was sitting here for a little bit thinking, what shall I talk about? Then Jim and I were arguing. <laughs> Would you believe? <laughs> I erased it. He was, I was saying it's going to be cold and he says it's not. And I says, my hands are like ice. Do you want to see how cold it is? It's cold. Though even, and then I said that even the weather lady's talking cold. There's a cold front coming through and they're talking about it being very wet, very rainy, very cold. And if you have a windbreaker on, you better put a heavier coat underneath because it's going to be cold. And then they're talking, it's supposed to warm up a little bit for Saturday and Sunday. And then Monday's supposed to be our the warmest day so far, but it's got rain coming back. So the chickens won't be happy. I won't be happy. But I did sit out in the sun today. I sat outside and I was thinking, oh, that feels so good. When I first went out there, there was a, quite a breeze and then the breeze kind of went away. And the, the chickens were all looking at me like, and then they decided they'd go down into the um, grassy area and eat whatever they wanted. But this morning, when I went out to take the chickens their food, I look out and sure enough, there's my little silver fox girl, whatever, the, she's silver, she's so pretty. She was on the wrong side of the gate. So I opened the gate to try to get her in and out comes Emma and her two babies. Then the black one started to come out and it was like, oh man, this is like, you know, how you try to corral ants. Well, it was like that. And so I decided I'd just throw a little chicken scratch because I give them their pellets and some chicken scratch in the morning. And um, I, so I threw some and they all came back in. And then I was able to bring the food in, put it into their pans. But my goodness, it was like crazy there for a little bit. And then my dog, I don't, I don't think she'll, he'll hurt the chickens, but I don't know. But when the black one started to come out, he, he actually barked. I think he was just trying to help me get them all back in. And that, that chicken went right back in right away. It didn't come out. So that was what happened this morning. Then um, we were talking about we needed to close the windows. Why do we need to close the windows? Because it's going to be cold. <laughs> it's cold. Even if he says it's not, it's cold. And he had to climb out a window because our windows... The windows we had put in the house were put in, gosh, good over 30 years ago. And they're the crank out windows and they're starting to be where the, when you go to close them, they don't want to close all the way. So you go out on the porch, on the roof of the porch, and you push the window as the person on the inside cranks it so that it can shut tightly. So next year there should be some windows replaced. We have only on one side of the house replaced windows and now we've got to do it on the other side of the house. Um, they, they're all going to be the up and down windows rather than the awning. We put the awning windows in because with the porch, before the porch, if, if it rained you wanted to put, leave your window open and you could with an awning window where the, if they go up and down the rain would have come in. Whereas now I think it'd be better if they just go up and down and if it's raining we can open the upper part and the roof kind of shades, shields that so the rain won't come in. And um, I guess that's it. So we had to, he had to climb out on the roof. It's too bad I didn't have the camera. That would have been a perfect <laughs> crawling out of a window. Our um, es fire escape window. We actually used to test to see if we could escape the house because if you're upstairs, we don't have um, a ladder or anything, but we do have a tree and the tree is right next to the gazebo. And so my daughter would climb onto the gazebo, or yeah, on that roof, get into the tree and come on down. And um, my husband could do that too. And then we always said, well, we would just go out and get the van and drive the van over. And then the rest of them, if they wanted to, could hop on the, t on the roof of the van to make it a little easier. Or they could go down the tree. Well, I guess my clock has donged. That means I've talked approximately not even 10 minutes because about it was five. about five minutes. Oh, this is going to be a short video for you. I'm sorry. But you will enjoy it maybe from finish to start. And if you end 
on this one let me see what should I have you give me give me give me the word um, fire <laughs> If you put fire in the wind, in the, in the, climbing out a window and fire, fire is a good word, but don't holler fire because it will cause chaos, but just write fire and, and I'll know what you meant. I'll talk to you tomorrow. Bye.